And welcome back to our second YouTube exclusive for this week. I am, as you know, I'm going to be joined by my friend Joe for this YouTube exclusive. Still doing good, Joe? Yes, the uh, Joe Young over here, the world champion, or at least the future world champion. Go for it, my friend. Okay. Uh, well, the second topic we're going to talk about on this YouTube exclusive is, if you remember, this past week was the Oscars, and uh, there was a very... I guess, motivative, or I'm trying to find the right words to describe it, but Patricia Arquette uh, gave this very motivational speech about equal pay for women uh, versus men, and then uh, to get this back on wrestling, and uh, Stephanie had kind of tweeted out the whole Patricia Arquette thing and giving women a chance. Well, AJ Lee kind of tweeted and like giving the Divas chance and kind of equal pay for the Divas uh, versus the men's and stuff. So I wanted to kind of get your opinion on that, Joe. Kind of like AJ Lee's comments, kind of what your take is on everything and just kind of give your opinion on it. Uh, for AJ Lee's comments about the women's pay, I don't know how much really the Divas are getting paid. You know, obviously, you know, I'm not up there in the management who comes to the pay rate and stuff. But I do believe that the women in wrestling don't get paid enough it's because they don't get enough. I mean, if you look at on TV, look on Raw, SmackDown, Impact, and all those shows, even even in the indie scenes, scenes they don't really get much exposure. Most of the time, the main events consist of men. Most of the time, the 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 highlight shows or or consist of males. You don't you may you may get to see one or two diva match and that's it. So obviously the females, the divas in the wrestling probably don't get paid as much. But I believe if the wrestling industry, if it wants to move forward, if want if they want to show equality with male and females, they ought to do they ought to get the divas more time on TV. Because, you know, the female roster, if you look at it, it's getting bigger every time. Every year, you get more females want to be wrestlers. And I believe there's more female wrestlers now than it was 10 years ago. So if you give females more time on TV, then get them, you know, then maybe they'll be able to get more pay because then you'll be able to pay them more because they get more time on TV. You know, it's plus I believe that females wrestlers also sell a lot of merchandises too compared to you know they may not sell as much as John Cena because John Cena has been used on TV every time but if you put a female on there say like um like Paige if you if you made her the main attraction as the female wrestler and put her on TV more than what you do now like say you put her on a couple of segments and a couple of matches I guarantee you probably sell a lot of her equipment, a lot of her gear, a lot of her merchandise on WB.com because people say, oh, wait, I like what she's wearing. I want to buy the outfit. You get to show, expose her more. So, yeah, women probably don't get paid as much right now, but I guarantee if I was a promoter, I put them more matches. I, I expose them more to the public, and then once they're exposure out there and once I see I get money for them, I'll pay them what they deserve. Yeah, and I mean, uh, the whole argument for equal pay for equal whole woman is not a, a, in wrestling only. It is throughout any job that you go through. And I think a lot of people's perspective on it is the reason why women don't get equal pay is because of the whole merchandise sale. If you, and like you mentioned, that is John Cena's merchandise well outsells else women's merchandise. Now, uh, the women's merchandise does move, but in comparison to a male merchandise, us, it does not move uh, the product and at the time of this recording and, and this is something my friend uh, Mr. Heineken has brought out UFC tonight has a show I think it's UFC 184 the pay-per-view is being headlined by Ronda Rousey it is being headlined by two women and so I mean if you look at that at I mean women can get equal pay A but I mean an argument against it and I'm all for equal pay for equal work but I, I think the argument against it is that the merchandise for women, it, well, since this is wrestling, we'll talk about wrestling, doesn't move as well as the men, and women aren't selling pay-per-views like the males are. And I think that's where a lot of argument comes through for a lot of people, all that women don't necessarily get equal pay like the men do. And that's why I say as, as a promoter and a booker, you would think that, you know, in order to increase the sales or the females, merchandise, divas, you ought to expose them more on TV, you know, trying to make them look as tough and strong as the males does. Yeah, you may show Cena all the time, but why don't you take some way a female uh, diva and do her like you do with John Cena or with Daniel Bryan. Get them into the fans, get the fans into the female a lot, and guarantee you probably revenue more, re uh, more you get more revenue out of it, and then you can... 
pay them what they deserve. I mean, I'm like you, Robert. I'm more equal pay for all females. But at the same time, the males obviously get paid more because they sell more merchandises and they show they have like more pay per views than the female does. So that's why they probably get paid more than the female. But if you give the female like I said before, more time, and maybe about the equal time eventually, I guarantee you they probably revenue but the same as males. Just give it time. Right now, yes, wrestling is all about males. It's dominated by males. Females right now don't get much time on TV. They don't get much time to to go out there and sell their, their self. To, but here recently, like my f- female partner here where he tells me, the females actually got a little show called Total Divas. That just started, what, last year? So... You know, as for them exposing that to the divas, what's going on in personal lives, maybe that kind of showed a little bit of exposure. And hopefully at a time, the females can make that into a, a revenue market there for them. So what do you think about that, Jess? And, and her name is Jessica, too. Yeah, 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 we're, 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 bring, we're bringing you on the show, so you might as well just uh, talk. We're not letting you off the hook here. Yes, I do believe they need equal pay because they do the same thing the guys do. Basically, they do take hits. They just not as bad. And they still put up with all the drama and the crap that all the guys do, too. Okay. I mean, ain't that, that's some good points. So, oh, uh, do you think AJ Lee, with her comments, uh, should be punished uh, for speaking out for equal pay for equal women with Stephanie being furious because Stephanie got almost called a hypocrite for saying give divas a chance and stuff like that and voice when she doesn't really do that. So, I mean, do you think AJ Lee should be punished for speaking her mind? Or, or do you think there should not be any repercussions? No, I do not think she should be punished for it. Okay. I mean, Joe, do you, uh, do you want to chime in on this? Okay. AJ Lee, I understand she's trying to voice her opinion on the female's perspective. But as put in public like that, I mean, you are working for a company. I believe she's still working for WWE, right? Yeah, she is still employed by WWE. She's just out with injury right now is what I understand. So as, you know, if you're representing a company, which she is, you shouldn't be outspoken like that. You should talk. You know, you should have. You know, you should have went to privately talk to Stephanie yourself and sit there. You know, tell hey, you know, Stephanie, I don't think you should be right about that. You know, talk personal instead of exposing the company out there because that company pays you, and you kind of represent the company. So now you kind of put a damper in your career, and they can do a lot of damage to your career. I'm talking about they can ruin your reputation. They can do everything they want. So I believe. If I was to the promoter, if I was Stephanie McMahon, I would punish her for it just because she put WWE on the hot seat comes to that situation, you know. But as for her um, open opinion, I think she's right about her topic about or what she was talking about. But she should have waited until she was released or after she's done with WWE before she went out, outspoken, at least for that point. Yeah. And I mean, I, I'm in agreement with what you said. I, I believe in the message that she was trying to get across, but maybe she didn't do it the exact right way. I mean, like I said, maybe talking to Stephanie privately and be like, hey, this is how I feel. This is what needs to be done. Because if you look at just Raw, I think they mentioned there was like a 30-second Divas match when guys get a lot more time than that. And it's really insulting the women, I think. And I like her message, but I think she shouldn't have necessarily aired it on social media like that. And like you said, you are a representative of the company, and that can come back to hurt you in the long run. So, I mean... He did make some good points. But I think we're going to wrap the segment up, and we're going to go to our third segment uh, after this. So we'll catch you guys later. 